muted. Good. <whistles> Greetings, this Earthlings. This is the Collector's Showcase, day five of our 30 days of unboxings. I am Craig. Joining me here is my stunning Lee Corny co-host, Rob. Rob? Thank you. I actually thought you were going to mention uh, what you're holding, and you were going to actually pass an an even more we offensive joke. But, we don't speak of the child. But we don't apparently speak of we the child. Uh, but yes, we are traveling to the year 1989, people. Whoa. The year is 1989. The movie that is hot is Back to the Future Dose. 2. So we're traveling in a DeLorean then. We're traveling in a DeLorean back to 1989. The president is the first actually vice president to become president since Van Buren, which is George H. Bush. Okay. For all you youngins, you're thinking of probably W, w but this is his it's not, dad. It's not. It's W. The W, a gallon of gas is about, what, a buck 70, right in that range? And it didn't taste as good back then. It, <laughs> uh, we've got an ounce of gold was about $411. Can you believe it? Could you Can't imagine? All those people that bought gold back then now, they're rolling in it. They that are rolling in all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, a big thing, and this is sort of now bringing it full circle because we are broadcasting live right now with you guys with our 30-day unboxing with, what's the name of our show, Craig? The Collector Showcase. And what should everyone do? Subscribe. That's right. But a really cool thing that happened in 1989 is ESPN struck a deal with MLB for $400 million. That's been in MOLB? <laughs> Get out of town. Hey, yeah, to stream all their uh, games, which is kind of cool because we're opening up today, folks. You know what this is? A box. This is a box. This is a cardboard box filled with 36 uh, <laughs> packs of cards. Lots of cards. Whoa. Um, 1989, Don Arrest. There's a lot of really cool cards that we're going to be looking for today. Um, and a lot of rookie cards, a lot of Hall of Famers uh, that were rookies in this year. So this is a great year. Uh, but I would say the Holy Grail in this particular um, sort of set, the 1989 Donruss, is going to be the Griffey Jr. And, you know, people try to sell those cards for, you know, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars PSA 10. In reality right now, um, you know, they're selling for like four hundred four hundred dollars. So that's still some serious coin. So we've got an opportunity here to open up some pretty cool cards and get some really good hits. But guys, welcome to the collector showcase. Here we go. So we're gonna be doing our unboxing, and even though baseball is my wheelhouse. Gregory. You played baseball, did you not, Rob? I did actually play baseball, and I was rather good. Okay, why don't you brag a little? I was rather good, and uh, <laughs> yeah, and I had a, uh, it was a party. Okay. <laughs> what did you do? But I was a pitcher. Okay. Uh, I was, and uh, you know what? Plagued by injuries, and uh, you know, I, I still to this day wish I, I was able to taste a little bit more of success with baseball, but I I am thankful for the success that I did have with it. I had a lot of fun with it. Got to meet some really cool people. and But it brought me to where I am today. And today, we're going to be opening up this uh, wax pack of 1989. Oh. What's pretty cool, as you can see here, uh, we've got the sort of the retro beat going on. I'm going to put on our music again, right? Like, bro. You know what I mean? So it's bringing us back to, to the 80s where we've got hypercolor shirts. Tie-dye shirts are still really cool. Crazy hair is all shirts. the rage. And uh, 1989 is where it's at, people. And so we've decorated. We've got 1989 baseball sets behind us um, from Bowman. We've got score, tops, and, of course, the Donruss right here. This of is course. the full set, every card in the set right here. Um, he was not around then. Um, Actually, he's older than all of us. And that's a good point. Uh, but anyway, yes, we're going to be opening up this back right here. So if you just uh, – uh, uh, I can't even talk. I am so tired, by the way. Same. But uh, but if you guys can do us a favor, let us know that you were here by saying hello. We've got a woo. I'm going to add that. So just like that, guys, um, if you're here, make sure you say hello to us. And we love adding you guys to the chat and giving you guys a ton of love. And we also give away things all of the time. Yesterday, we gave away a bunch of stuff. We gave away a bunch of uh, Pokemon common cards. We also gave away – we got Hi Baby Yoda. Yes, people love Yoda very <laughs> clearly. Um, and uh, we also, someone won the wax, uh, not the wax pack, the Prism. pack. 
yeah. the Prism basketball pack. Um, that was for getting to our first 100 followers. We said, hey, we're going to give it away randomly, and we're going to do it another one when we get to 200 Ooh. followers, and we are so close. I have a feeling it's going to happen during today's show. What will so, they, they be getting? I don't know. So if you guys want to win something, all you have to do is get a bunch of people to follow. We are so close. Um, I think the last I checked, we were like 19 away from 200. So we only need 19 followers, I think. So you just put, you know, get a couple of your friends, follow. And then during the show, hopefully, if we get to 200, we're going to give away another pack. That is free. We're going to ship it free to you, uh, which is awesome. We got we got another a friend here. We can say, let's go. Yeah, yes. Bruh. Bruh. Let's go. What's up, bruh? 650. But yes, we are opening up this right here. And if you're brand new to the show today, this is the first time you're ever tuning in. Uh, we're, this is the Collector Showcase. We are going live every day for 30 days, and we're going to be unboxing something brand new. Um, every single day and then we might do some repeats I have a feeling the repeats that we're going to be doing based on just the, the audience everyone loves the Pokemon cards agreed and uh, <laughs> we've been able to already get some incredible hits yesterday I, I can't believe the cards that uh, that we that we opened up yesterday I got a literal pile of garbage and I a did not strawberry though. shortcake Pokemon <laughs> and you got I got a Raikou, some, two Raikus. Yeah, do you have them and here? a Charizard? Yeah. No, they're not here. Um, they're locked away, safe. What's deep crazy at is, the is of I, the ocean. I pulled the first one, and then everyone in the audience, they were like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe you pulled that!" And I was excited too, right? And uh, and uh, you're the Pokemon gods uh, guy, so you were like the Pokemon guy. I, I saw you like leaning in, trying to like take it from me. Uh, but what's crazy is I'm like, the only one when you get back. Yeah, a few packs later. Do you remember like when I was opening up a pack? I got like four or five energies in a row. Yes. And I made a I made a prediction. I said, you know what? Hold on. That many energies, there's going to be gold. You became an astrologist. You're like, I'm getting a sign. I'm, I'm getting a sign, right. And sure enough, I pulled the second one, and the second one was even better because that one I have a feeling is going to be a graded 10. That's a $300 card. So we got two of those. I also got a Chars. Chars, reverse holo Chars. Exactly. And, and so yesterday I pulled, at the very least, just those... Um, three cards, probably around eight hundred dollars worth of cards, and the boxes that we opened up cost only sixty dollars. So you do the math. This is why people are getting into this right now, is because there's a really big opportunity as an investor, not just a collector, um, to to make something off of this. So you can sort of fund your passion, which is kind of cool. But let's get right into it, guys. Who's ready? Who's ready for us to go ahead and open up? Uh, this box right here. I'm actually, even though again, I was saying this earlier, baseball is my thing, but Craig, I'm going to let you do the honors, my friend. No way. Because you weren't born, Get and I want town. you to actually Still just... Not. Do I even <laughs> exist yes. at all? You didn't exist in 1989, but now I'm going to give you a taste of what it was like Ooh. to live in 1989. Seems dusty and smelly. Not going to lie. Similar to my soccer story, I also played baseball, and I spent most of the time chasing flowers. Let me see what we have here. We have, oh, I have my puzzle piece. Maybe we should also put that together. I have a feeling we might get enough of these puzzle, puzzle pieces. I have three pieces. Oh, fantastic. That as we um, as we open up all these, maybe we could put together the entire puzzle. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, why don't you read off what the names are of each of these cards? I have Ken Williams. I have Johnny Ray. Followed by a Kevin Bass. Followed up by a Jose Oquendo. Followed up by a Milt Thompson. Followed up by a Ron Robinson. Followed by Mike Bromley. Followed by Jose Jose Lind. Followed by Scott Garlet Geralt. Followed by Charlie Puelo Puelo. Sorry. Followed by Les Lancaster. Followed by Randy Myers. Followed by Ray Quinones. Followed by Mike Flanagan. And those are my cards. Okay, so we did not get any of we're looking the big for hitters. Griffith Jr. Yes, we're looking for Ken Griffey Jr. We can, uh, Ken we can go Griffin ahead and Jr. throw that in there. Um, but Ken Griffey Jr. is not the only card to, to go for. That is definitely the holy grail of this particular set. Um, but like I said before, there's a number hold of that, cards. Please hold that. Thank you. <laughs> there's actually a number of cards here that are worth some some money. Um, Would you, you say know, some serious coin? Some serious coin. That's my phrase. Trademark Rob Saramina. 
Um, the game was trying to take that trademark. <laughs> yeah, a number of uh, Hall of Famers as well. So let's get right into this here. And uh, you know, Craig, you could you could give me whatever sound effect you'd like. I I'm generous with my sound effects. You don't have to be. I, you know, you could be you Kay. if you want to be. Uh, but here you go, guys. Um, unlike, by the way, like in Pokemon where you like you take the four cards, you cut it, you put it on the bottom. This no doesn't trick. happen in 1989. No party trick. They were really boring. So uh, just uh, to start, start off piece, with, though. we've got our puzzle piece. We're going to add that to the puzzle piece uh, deck here. First one up, Daryl Boston. Ch <laughs> I heard that. Nice sound effect. I love it. Chili Davis. Chili Davis. John Fischel. Jose uh, De Leon, Steve Jeltz, Rob Dibble, Mark Parent. Funny thing, he never became a parent. Do you know that for a fact? No, I don't. Oh. But it's don't a parent. Come on here spreading lies it's to a my parent. viewers, Rob. Yeah. Um, Atlee Hawmaker. The names, as you, as if you are now a fan of sports, have gotten better with players. <laughs> they suddenly, their family suddenly changes their last name. Yeah, Bob Kipper, Jose Alvarez. I guess Derek Jeter is pretty easy. Yeah, Mitch Webster, Mackie Sasser. I loved Mackie Sasser. I wasn't like a Met fan. You've learned 1986 yeah. when they won the World Series. I was a kid. I became a Met fan then. And I remember Mackie Sasser. I remember watching him play. Um, very, very cool. Um, so awesome. Here's a Mackie Sasser, a throwback to my youth, but not a card really of any value. Mike Moore. Ooh, all right. We got a Cecil Fielder, a DH. Not bad. A, not one of the cards that we're looking for, but definitely a big name in baseball for a long time which is awesome. His son actually, Prince Fielder, ended up playing as well, was was pretty good too. And then he wrote the song Purple Rain. Can you sing it? No. Oh, all right. Don't want to get copyright infringed. <laughs> awesome. And then here we go. We've got uh, the last one, Al Newman. Those are my cards. Uh, and what I'll do is I'm going to make uh, two piles here and uh, one for maybe ones that will do sleeve and leave, but I, I, n nothing is getting me excited where I want to go sleeve and leave. No, we no, need uh, Gryffindor Jr. We're looking for. We are looking for Gryffindor, Gryffindor Jr. My turn. Cut to my cam. Okay, first off is a puzzle piece. Followed by Greg Gagney. Or gang? I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh, what do we got here? Here we go. Fred like, McGriff. Fred McGriff. This is going to be a Kings. sleeve and leave. So, Gregory. Gregory you, gets the mind. first sleeve and leave. Yay, Gregory. Next up is a David Wells. A David Wells. Followed by a Tommy Herr. What is this, Rob? An MVP Kevin Gross card. Next up is a Kevin Elster. Next up, Calvin Schiraldi. Got that. Next up, Dion James. Next up, Rick Rochelle. <laughs> Next up, Gesundheit. John Smiley. Sean Abner. Chris Sabo. 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 Chris James. I know my friend uh, Nick there is going to say, learn how to speak, Craig. Followed up by a Bill Durant. And those are my cards. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, so you've got one sleeve and leave. Now, even though this card right here is an MVP, it doesn't mean it's a card worth anything. Whoa, how are you going to do that to my man? I'm sorry. I mean, listen... You got you you got some nice stuff in here, but um, this this card unfortunately is not really worth Whoa. anything. Yes. Um, all right, but you did get a one that's a sleeve and a leave, uh, sleeve and leave. Fred McGriff, which is very cool. And I've got two still set aside that might be. Remember my category. 
Sleeping leaves for me are cards either that we know have value, or might have value, or you just like. Have sentimental value. Right. Cards don't have to necessarily have value for, to, for you to sleeve and leave them. You could just really like them. In our case, I've got two that I kind of like, so I might be sleeving and leaving. You never know. Here we go. Moving right along, we are going to be taking another, another deck here. Okay. Can you guys hear this? Oh yeah, it sounds good, right? Yummy. It, the, I'm telling you, opening up packs is so much fun. And if you got, we got some people uh, watching that's never opened a pack before or haven't opened up a pack in years. I recommend grabbing one and opening. It's a lot of fun. You never know what you're gonna get. It throws you back to your youth or whatever. It's, it's the, the nostalgia. It's kind of fun. I like it. All right, here we go. Bring on the sound effects, my friend. We've got, got another, you, of course, puzzle card. Hopefully, we're going to be able to put this together. I remember as I a kid. I see your face. I remember as a kid getting the puzzle cards. I never was able to get enough of them to put it together. Wow. This could be my day. Wow. I'm so glad that you're finally getting to do this. Yes. We've got a Jim Clancy. A Scott Bradley. A Mark Grace. He was a good player. You know, I'm going to put this aside. We've got a Will Clark, another good player. This is one of the first players when uh, I remember going to a baseball card show back in the 80s. I was able to get like a bunch of these for just like a couple dollars. And for me, it was a big deal, you know, but he was a cool player. He was around the league for a while. Does it smell amazing? Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. It smells amazing. It smells so good. Uh, we've got a Mike Lavieri. <phone rings> Gerald Perry. We've got a John Franco. This is the John Franco from the Cincinnati Reds years, not from the New York Mets years. He became the closer for the Mets, and I got to meet him a cool uh, uh, a bunch of times. Wow. Um, as a kid, though, you know, so he's a really a cool guy. Awesome. So I'm gonna put this aside. I like it. Ed Whitson. We've got Greg Matthews. Lance Parrish. Dave Smith, Bob Thigpen. See, that would make a good Pokemon name. Thigpen. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys agree? Do you guys agree that that maybe Pokemon should should listen to us right now, and should uh, should Pokemon make uh, their next Pokemon named after this guy right here, Thigpen? I think Thigpen would make a good name. Am I right or wrong, people? We've got. Uh, Cecilio Guanti, Brian Downing, and Pascual Perez. Great name. Sounds like copyright issues. You're probably right. Here we go. Gregory. You're up, man. dude. Are you having fun I'm visiting having fun. 1989? It's, it's a, it seems like a fun time. So so far, I mean, would you ever revisit 1989? Uh, if I had the DeLorean, sure. Yeah, absolutely. See, here we go, guys. If you're just getting on the stream right now, we are we have traveled in the DeLorean back to 1989, where Back to the Future 2 was a big hit. George H. Bush is the president. H. Dubs. Hypercolor shirts are all the rage. Still are. And we're opening up a pack that was fresh in 1989. Now it's a little bit musty, but we're having fun opening opening it. And we're looking. You know what? It's we're, a sentimental must. It, it is, brings it, you back. It does bring you back to those times. So, right. We are looking for a, a uh, historical must. Never yeah. killed anybody. This is the card right here that we're looking for. We're looking for that Griffey. A uh, rookie card. The Gryffindor. And I like going off of the uh, sold values versus listed values. Listed, you're going to see this card listed for hundreds of dollars more than this. But this was just recently sold, as you can see here, for $405. That's a really good uh, gauge there. But that's the card that we are going for, people. All right, let's go ahead. Craig, I believe you're up. Thank you, dear. My first card is Mike Lavalier. Then I have a checklist card, followed up by a Ivan Calder Calderon, Calderon, Alderon. <laughs> Star Wars fans know what that is. Kurt Manwaring. This is just going to be a. I might as well drive a butcher truck because I'm going to butcher these names tonight. Fred Lynn. 
Mark McGuire. Whoa, time out. All right. So we've got a Mark McGuire card. That, my friend, I believe is a hit. Um, does that card look like that? You know, Rob, I think it does. It does. So we've got our first hit right now on eBay. That card is going for $57.99. It was sold. Uh, people are trying to sell it for north of $100. I saw it uh, recently for like $130. Uh, but that's a really good hit right there. So Rob, we've got. Hit me with that horn. Because it's a sleeve and, and leave. leave. <laughs> sleeve and leave, people. Leaving it up. Great. That's a great pull right there. Thank awesome you, sir. job, my friend. Um, so, so to give you guys an idea of even current value, because that's what we're going to go off of, you can buy these wax packs, um, the, like a box right now for like 30, 40 bucks. You can, you can in fact find them for that. So if in fact you paid current value of the box and you started opening this up, open this up right there, this one card pays for the current value of what you can buy this entire thing for. So right there, we're in the money people. We are in the money. That's a great pull. All right, my next card. Steve Rosenberg. Not to be confused with Peter Rosenberg of Hot 97. Orlando Rooms. Next card. Gary Templeton. Next card. Louis, Louis Aguawa. Yo. Next card. <laughs> Joe Carter. Next card. Gerald Young. Next card. Darnell Cole. Next card. Rick Ruchel. Next card. Dave West. Dave West. All right, we're going to put that card aside right there. That was a card that I remember when I was younger, I targeted that card. No, no, no. What are you doing? Oh. Dave West. Dave West is a sleeve and leave for me. <laughs> Sorry. Sleeve and leave for me. <laughs> Don't want to get hurt. And yes, this card right here, I remember 1989, I would pull this card. I loved it. Why? Remember, guys, I was a Met fan. And so he was a rookie. So it was a guy that the analyst would talk about. And I remember I had nine. I remember this number. Why did I have nine? Because I could fit nine in a in a uh, one of those uh, three ring binders, and you could fit nine cards in one of those uh, sheets. So I had nine of them, and I was like, I used to love going to that page and be like, Yo, I got nine Dave West rookie cards. So we're gonna put this one away. I have ten, or is that long gone? And no, I. Actually I still have it in the same binder. You got to bring that in next I'm not time. even kidding. In the same binder. You have to bring people. it into next stream. So, again, for me, the card's not worth that much, but I enjoy it because it brings me back to my use. And it doesn't matter. We've already pulled this card right here, um, the card that, that you're seeing in my hand. Also, you're seeing on the screen there. Um, this card right now, graded, is going for $57.99. So this right here covers the cost if you would buy this. I've... Uh, did not buy this recently. I've had this for a while, so uh, my cost is a hundred. You know, it's a hundred percent profit, which is awesome. Anyway, I am up. You guys having fun? I'm actually having a blast. I love opening up these cards. I love opening up packs. If you guys are brand new to the stream, welcome. We appreciate all of you guys, and uh, we are on day five. Day we, five. We are on day five. <clears throat> We're streaming live every single day, 30 days straight, opening up uh, new boxes every single day, and it's spanning everything from Pokemon, baseball, basketball, football, hockey, soccer, Magic the Gathering. We're talking about cryptocurrency, gold, silver, stocks, you name it. We're going to have a lot of fun here. Um, and uh, what we're doing is our goal is to get to 1,000 followers by the end of the month. So every 100 followers, what do we do, Greg? I think we give them a little prize. We give them a little prize. That's right. Yesterday, we gave away a bunch of stuff. We gave away Pokemon cards. We gave away a pack of prison basketball cards because we hit 100 followers. When we hit 200, we're going to give away another pack. <gasps> so I have a feeling we're going to get there this stream. Hopefully, we do. You guys can help us. If you want to win something tonight, the best way to help uh, us and the best way for you to win something is, in fact, to just go out and ask your friends right now. Go follow this channel because once we get to 200, we're going to announce another winner. Guess what? Talking about winner. Puzzle piece. More puzzles. We're going to put this all together. We're going to have so much fun. We've got Carney Lansford. I get no sound effects. I mean, that's boring. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Kevin Seitzer. I hit you with a little Blue's Clues. That's what that sounded like. Talking about Seitzer, I can go for some seltzer right now. Oh, that makes one of you. Greg Swindle. Now, don't swindle me out of all of these cards, Craig. Goodness. Yesterday, you tried I need a to. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. Jesse nice. Roscoe. He was a... 
He was a player that had longevity. He definitely did. He he, he was around for a while. Do you guys remember Jesse? Does anyone remember Jesse Orozco? He was around for a while. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Roger Clemens. So this is not a big hit, but it's a cool card. He, um, this is definitely a sleeve and leave because you guys know my my sort of theory on this. I mentioned this a few days ago. Is there there are certain players right now that should be in the Hall of Fame that are not because of controversy, and I feel that once the current um, sort of team of journalists who's responsible for voting players into the Hall of Fame sort of die off and and the new crop of people replace and they don't have the same memory, right. I feel like these guys are going to get voted in. When they do, their cards are going to skyrocket. So this is, I think, a really good pull. Roger Clemens, he was a stud. So that's that's definitely so a So you can sleeve. do any bad deed, and as long as the people that were around die, it's all good. <laughs> No comment. So that's a sleeve and leave. Say it with me, people. Sleeve and leave. Next one up, Rich Dotson. Mike Heath. Roger McDowell. He had a couple good years. Pretty reliable pitcher there. We've got Billy Ripken. Not to be confused by his brother, Cal Ripken, which is a card that we not want. No offense to Billy. But still a cool card, but not the one we're looking for. We've got Steve Lyons. We've got um, Harold Reynolds. I don't think this is a big value card. It might like be like a buck or two. Right. So we'll still sleeve and leave it, though. All right. We've got Bo Diaz. Lloyd Mosby. Frank Viola. Also, he was a pretty good picture. Pick, I said picture. He was a pretty a decent, good decent picture of him. <laughs> he was a pretty good pitcher. So I'm gonna put this one aside. And Mark Langston. Not bad. Not like the the pulls that you just had. You definitely did a lot better than me. But I would say these are the three cards that I'm gonna go ahead and keep. Let me pull the Mark McGuire one off. We just did pull that Mark McGuire that you guys are seeing on the screen. Uh, let's pull that one off though, because we're going for all the other ones as well. Switcheroo here. Switcherooski. Craig, you're up. My turn. I hope the cards I pull from this was better than Wonder Woman 84. People in the comments know what I'm talking about. A three at best. I I enjoyed the movie. I did. I enjoyed it. I agree it wasn't great. First one was better, but I still enjoyed the movie. I bet you there's some people in the comments who think it was a six or a seven. Those people are wrong. Wrong. I got a puzzle piece. Yes. I have a Don Russ Diamond Kings Don Mattingly. Do Wait a minute. I know we've got some big Don Mattingly fans. See a lot of lies in the comment section here. I see stop. I see a wow. I see a nah fun film. All lies. I'll put that one aside, actually. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a good card. Love Diana, though. Next card is Jesse Barfield. Next card is Alan Anderson. Next card, an MVP Alan Trammell card. Next card is Dave Magadan. <laughs> Wait a minute, say that word again? Dave Magadan. You put the em emphasis on the wrong syllable there. Magadan. Magadan. Megadan. Pat Perry. Nice. Bruce Sutter. Getting a little quiet over there. I was wondering. Bob Brenly. See, we got a bunch of uh, Mattingly fans. See, I told you. There you Mattingly. Go. Mattingly. Next is Glenn Wilson. Next is Dickie Thon. Next is Herm Winning Winningham. Next up, Bob Dernier. Next up, Dave Meads. Meads? Meads. He's off his Meads. Next, Pedro Guerrero. Next, Jerry Roos. All right, well done. Thank you, sir. I'd say you did pretty good. Your best card is going to be this one right here. Okay. The Don. Donnie Baseball right there. He had a, a shortened career. Otherwise, I think uh, uh, he would have uh, definitely received some more accolades. But he was a great baseball player. What happened player. to him? I, I, help me out, people. I think he got hurt. 
Um, he was a first baseman. I think he eventually he was replaced by Tino Martinez. Okay. And then all of a sudden they went on that run and they won all these World Series after him. So he missed it by just like a couple years, which stinks. Poor fellow. But, but uh, anyway, I, I think uh, this is a good poll right here. And uh, this, uh, you know, these cards right here and are going to be equivalent to like modern day inserts. You know, this was the Donruss version of an insert. Um, so anyway, so that's a cool card. This is definitely a sleeve. And leave. leave. So Bobby this, Light, it is your turn. Awesome. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah, I say our sleeve and leave pile is growing. Um, we only, I think, only have one real card of value, and that was actually a great hit. That's that Mark McGuire card. Um, all right, here we go. Puzzle piece. We're going to put this thing together, I'm telling you. By the end of the day, we've got a Cameron Drew, not one of the rookie cards that we're looking for. A Jack Morris. Uh, Gerald Perry. All right, here we go. We, get, we actually hit another one. We've got a Jose Canseco. I don't have a picture of this one. Jose Canseco's card is going to be another decent hit. Not a big one, but definitely worth a couple dollars. So this is a sleeve. And leave. I can get you a stuffed crust pizza from Walmart that I had before I came here. <laughs> okay. A uh, Rick Russell. Sleeve and leave just because it's part of it's one of the inserts. Uh, Dave Lapointe, RC Gonzalez, Mike Burbeck. This is another Pokemon name. I'm telling you, Pokemon needs to pay attention and open up some 1989 Donruss uh, baseball cards because they can find their names. There's no reason to sit around that table and come up with nonsense. We'll give them a call. Boom. It's a Burkbeck. Craig Worthington. Sounds like Farfetch. That is a Pokemon. David Martinez, Neil Heaton, Drew Hall, not Arsenio, not a related. Ah, he's about to be in Coming to America too. Sherman for Corbett, Amazon. Juan Castillo, and Gerald Clark. There you go. I got two decent cards. I think the Conseco one uh, of that pack is going to be worth the most. Okay. Here we go. The Craig Cam. <laughs> People are saying that you're off. Is it is it Craig that is off his meds or is it me? Am I off my meds? It was a reference to a joke I made. If anyone, oh. if anyone across me was paying attention. Um, yes! My first card. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm getting a little excited, people. Oh, I got to calm down. I'm having, I'm having, I'm fanning out here. Greg Jeffries. Okay. Was my favorite baseball player growing up. Okay. I'm going to bring this in for the next show. I literally have a plaque. Like, I, I love this baseball player so much. I have a plaque with his picture and his four rookie cards. That's one of them that's on there, and it's and it's autographed. And this was on my wall. This was my, one of my prized possessions. Holy cow. I'm getting all the feels right now with Greg Jeffries. This is a sleeve and Yes, I'm going to gift you with the card that you already owned because you, you. you bought this. Thank but you so this much. is my gift to you. This is a cool moment. This is a very, very cool moment. My gosh. And we're back to the Greg Cam with a Vance Law. Gonna hit you with my radio voice. Next up, Dwight Gooden. Followed up by a Jim Gantner. Wait, card. Wait, hold on. Dwight, what was that? What was that name? G Gooden? Gooden? <laughs> wow, he really does not know baseball. Can, can, does anyone else know who that? Hold on, leave that baseball card so out. Sorry, so sorry, Dwight. Leave, leave that baseball. I know card one out. Dwight, and he works at Dunder Mifflin. Okay, this one does not. This is Dwight Gooden. Okay, he was a really good baseball player. Um, he had some personal issues that derailed his career, but he was a really, really good baseball player. And uh, that is a sleeve and leave, my friend. <laughs> I love, I love how you pronounce these names you are, you know no like i'm not gonna laugh well i'm gonna laugh at you but you pronounce baseball player names like i pronounce pokemon yeah names. go to go to yesterday's stream if you're gonna <laughs> pile it on me here mike Krukow. was that all right rob sure sid bream followed by a jimmy jones card not to be confused with jim jones who wrote the popular all-american hit ballin i will say though i think that it is 
better to not be able to pronounce Pokemon names versus people names. Yeah. I feel Pokemon like I get are better a pass. than people, so I feel I like think, I get a pass, you don't. I think people in the comments would agree that Pokemon are better than people. And we will wait look, for look. those comments to come. The Doc. Yeah, see, Doc. Doc Gooden. Okay. Next card is Paul Molitor. No, oh, that is a sleeve and leave. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I believe a Hall of Famer. MVP card. I see. I got an I agree. Pokemon are better than people. Thank you, Nick. Pokemon are better than people. It's true. Everyone <laughs> knows it. Glenn Davis. You know what Pokemon do that people don't do, Rob? They evolve. Glenn Davis. Next card. Terry Pendleton. Got another. Just got to throw that into the comments there. Thank you. Chuck Finley. What? Pokemon are better than people? Next card <laughs> is a Diamond King's what? Rube, Robin Yount. Oh, Yount. a Robin Yount. <laughs> Give me that card sleeve and leave. I have a feeling we're going to get the whole set here. Next card. BJ Serhoff. BJ Serhoff. Yeah, I No relation to Hasselhoff. Next card. Dave Schmidt. Next card. Chet Lemon. All right. You got some good pulls right here. Um, you know, you've got six sleeve and leaves out of that pack right there. And in my opinion, probably the one that's going to be worth the most. The can. Oh, wait a minute. The Kinteka was the one before that. So maybe you got three and that was from the other one. Um, I, I mean, now I don't remember, but the Canseco <laughs> one, if it, if, if it was, is definitely probably the one that's going to be worth the most here. But, uh, you know, uh, you definitely have uh, one, two, uh, two Hall of Famers, though, right here in this in this group. So we're doing really, really well, people nice. moving right along. I've got a really good feeling about this pack. The weight. Oh, it's the puzzle piece. That's what it's <laughs> doing. We've got a Ken Daly, Jack Howell, Dan Pasqua, Jose Guzman, Carlos Quintana, rookie card, not the one that we're looking for, Jeff Parrott, Rick Honeycutt, another cool name. Honeydew, Bunsen Honeydew is a Muppet. <laughs> Kurt... Stillwell, Mike Davis, lots of Davises, by the way, Jack Clark, any Yankee fans who've never Jack Clark, Joe, uh, Jody Reed, Lou Whittaker, Bill Wegman, and Joe Orsalak. And I was wrong about this game. We didn't even get one sleeve and leave. Wah, 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 wah. Smell it. Smell it. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. That's how we roll here. There's sleeve and leave and sniff it and walk away. And sneeze and leave. Sneeze and leave. First up, wouldn't you know, it's a puzzle piece. First card. Sherman Corbett. Next card, Jeff Russell. Next card is a Dave West. Oh, wait a minute! Come on, put that aside. You don't you remember? Don't you remember oh, yeah. my youth? Yeah, everyone knows Dave West. Next card, Rex Hudler. Actually, probably everyone does know Dave West, but me. Walt Weiss. Next card is a Jeff Montgomery card. Next card is a Dave Anderson card. Next up, Rick. Roden card, followed by a Bruce Hurst card, followed by a Pat Sheridan card, followed by a Chris Basio card, followed up by a Rick Shoe card, followed up by a Diamond Kings Jeff Robinson card, which Give I'll it, hand over to you. Give it, sleeve it, and leave it. Followed up by a Glenn Braggs card, followed up by a Eddie Murray card. Not bad. You Just got leave it one. Up, leave it up. You know, not a card that's worth anything, but it's part of the insert set here. Yes, yes, And we've yes. got to complete that set. Got to complete it. We've got to complete it. We are just going to be rolling now. We're gonna, Let's roll. Let's, let's roll, 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 roll
Same time? You're not ready for this. I'm not ready for two at the same time. He's not time. ready for it, people. Don't want to break the matrix. We got, of course, the puzzle, which we will be putting together. A Kirk Gibson. I like this card. Not really worth anything, but um, I... Well, I could be wrong. No, I don't think it's worth anything. But I'm still going to put it aside because everyone remembers the Kirk Gibson. If you're a true baseball fan, you guys know the Kirk Gibson home run trot. So there you go. Mark Grace, good player. I'll put it aside. Kevin uh, Kevin Brown was a pitcher that lasted a while, and he had some really good years that he got hurt, though, towards the end, so it was shortened. He was, he was a good ball player, though. Uh, but uh, not a sleeve and leave. Um, Alejandro Pena, Charlie, Charlie, uh, Librant, Wally Backman, come on, not a cool, not a good card, but a cool card, notice that like all the Met players from, from this age, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> Tim Tuffle, what, Tim Tuffle, Juan Neves, Phil Bradley, we got a Tim Flannery, Larry Anderson, we've got a Dykstra. People, we've got a Lenny. I'm putting that aside. A Felix Jose it is a rookie card, but not a rookie that we're looking for. Curtis Wilkinson and a Cal An Ripken. MVP. This is the brother, by the way, that we are looking for. Uh, we, uh, it's not a big, big hitter, but Cal Ripken, uh, everyone knows him. He's, um, he's a fantastic baseball player. He has a record for most games played consecutively. Nice. So I've got four cards that are sleeve and leaves. Let's see what I got over here on my side. Let's see what you got, man. Shall we? We shall. Switching over to the Craig Cam. Let's get this. There you go. Thank I'll take you, dear. That. Thank you, dear. Notice the precision. I got my puzzle piece that I dropped. I have Doug Jennings, followed by Gary Thurman, followed by Willie Upshaw, followed by Tim Cruz, followed by Dave Illand. See, I'm getting the names. Followed by Jeff Robinson, followed by Oil Can Boyd. Interesting. Followed by Kale Daniels. Followed up by Brady Anderson. Followed up by a Diamond Kings Glenn Davis That's card. A leave. Card. Card. Followed up by a Fred Tolliver. Followed up by, let me focus up, focus up, focus it up. Oh. Manny Lee card. Little blur. There we go. Followed up by a Mike Campbell card. Followed by a Doug Desenzo card. Followed by a Kevin Mitchell card. Kevin Mitchell. He was cool. I like Kevin Mitchell. Yes, sir. Over to the Rob Cam. Uh, I would like to see that Kevin Mitchell card, actually. Oh. Yeah. Why, certainly. Certainly. Kevin Mitchell. Wow. Very cool. Yeah, he was a cool player. All right, here we go. Moving right along, Let people. We're here. still looking for that Ken, Gr uh, Ken Griffey Jr. card. Um, we're still looking for some of the other rookie cards we're looking for is John Schm Schmoltz, Craig Biggio uh, is going to be here, uh, Kurt Schilling. Um, you know, there's some, there's some, again, some really good cards, and some of these cards go for decent coin. They really do. Uh, first one up, of course, puzzle. We've got Tim Belcher, Neil Allen, Corey Snyder, Stan Javier, Steve Bushell, Mark. Gabishka. <laughs> nice. Butchered that one. Eric Hansen, uh, rookie, but not the rookie we're looking for. Mitch Williams. Um, Hubie Brooks. Dave Stewart. Bo Jackson. This <laughs> is one of the ones that we want. Not a big money card, but guys, if you know this card, you know it's kind of cool. He was one of the very few successful two sport athletes he played I actually know his name yeah he played nfl and baseball this is a cool find right here i'm gonna say this is a sleeve and leave i'm gonna look up the value of this one i don't think it's gonna be big money but i have a feeling we, we might get a couple bucks out of it you know so that's a sleeve and leave scott bales john tudor 
Donnie Slot, and Marty Barrett. Plowed through that particular deck. Really only got one. But a card that I'm excited for. Bo Jackson. Nice. Now we're heading over to my corner of the world once again. We have my puzzle piece, which I'll put delicately off to the side. My first card. Ooh, I started out with the Diamond King. Nice. Pete Incaviglia. Sleeve and Lee E E E E. Checklist card. Larry McWilliams. Mike Pilecki. Oh, sorry, Mike. Ken Oberkleff. Ober Oberkfell. Don't hurt yourself. Zane Smith. Jack Armstrong. Mike Maddox. Eric Show. Sid Fernandez. Craig Reynolds. Re Whoa! Okay, we've got a big hit right here, guys. We got ourselves a little bit of a hit. This is the card that we just Ooh, hit. Nice hit right there. You know what we need for this? Yes. That is a big money sleeve and leave the Randy Johnson rated rookie card for the 1989 nice. Donruss right here. Craig, you got two of the biggest hits so far. Thank you, sir. This is amazing. So we pulled the Mark McGuire card that was 50, currently just sold for 50. I got lucky fingers. Yeah, and then you just got this one. This sold for $50. So we already have pulled over $100 worth of cards. Um, and we're we're not even halfway through. This is a great, this is a great pull right here, guys. That's huge. That's a great pull. Beautiful. Good job, man. Thank Good you. Good job. Proud of you. Followed up by a Craig McMurtry card and a Tony, Tony Gwynn Gwyn, sleeve and MVP leave. MVP sleeve and leave. One of, I, in my opinion, one of the best hitters. Whoa. That's really high was. praise. Yeah, I think he's card. probably one of the top, in my opinion, probably one of the top 25 hitters of all time. Wow. Brian Holman is my final card. Man, you did really good. Let's show these off again. Um, you, I pulled the Bo, Bo Jackson. Right. Uh, but you pulled Randy Johnson, Tony Gwynn. The big one is definitely for you. Is going to be this Randy Johnson card. Bro, that's sick. Thank you, sir. Great pull, my friend. Man, you magic are just touch. The magic touch. Magic touch. Maybe I shouldn't even we reversed, open up. We reversed. Last night, see, you opened my thing. That's and true. you got big. I opened your thing, and I get big. Yeah, there you go. That's how it goes. Yep. You know, listen, size does matter when it comes to this stuff. Uh, that's an interesting reference. Well, you know, it's about big. The bigger, the better. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, here we go. We got uh, another... Puzzle card. Backyard baseball was life. We've got in a the early 2000s. Frank Tanana. Hey, Nanana. Nice. Steve Sachs. Nice. Dave Rigetti, Yankee fans here. Nice. Mel Hall, not in the Hall of Fame. Dennis Eckersley, I believe, is. <laughs> um, maybe I'm wrong, but he's a cool card. I'm going to put that one aside. Imagine he's not. Yeah. And he's like this like insecurity complex. <laughs> I should be in. I can't like, put wow, that in. Thanks. Um, Pete Incaviglia, Danny Tarnable, Sandy Alomar Jr. Okay, we've got a decent one. Not got a big Alomar money. Jr. card. Yeah, it's not the uh, the Alomar that is uh, the better of the brothers, but he was still pretty good. I'm going to put it aside. Cool, decent card. Peter O'Brien, Dave Martinez. Yo, we've got two Mark McGuire's. <laughs> That's our second Whoa. Mark McGuire hit. We're going to have to sleeve and leave. Sleeve and leave this one. We're already up over $150 for this box. Wow. And if you're just tuning in now, uh, hold on. This is I'll finish this pack first. Charlie LeBrant, Joe Carter, Mike uh, Sosha, and Claudel Washington. If you're just tuning in now, guys, we're opening up um, 1989 Donruss. We took the DeLorean all the way back to 1989. We're opening up an entire wax box, 36 uh, packs. And there's actually a decent amount of cards that we're going to be going for. The holy grail of this particular set is going to be that Griffey Jr. rated rookie, uh, which is worth uh, over 400 bucks. But again, there's some other really good cards in this set, and we've already pulled three of them. We pulled uh, two Mark McGuire cards. 
which I will uh, put up right here. This way you guys can see, in fact, these cards. Well, that's the, the one that you're seeing right now. That's the Randy Johnson. We did pull that right here. Craig pulled that one right there. And uh, yes. And then the McGuire one right here. I just pulled this. And Craig also pulled one. So now this is our second one. Incredible pull. This is amazing. Nice. Yeah, great job. All right, great, great job, Rob. Anyway, cutting back <laughs> to my side. I have, oh my goodness, it's a puzzle piece. It's a puzzle piece. <laughs> Followed up by a John Dobson card. Then we got a Lewis Polonia. Then we got a Brad Wellman. Next up, Carmen Castillo. Next up, or is Castillo, I don't know. Next up, Danny Heap. Next up, Ken Phelps. Next up, Tan Benzinger. Next up is Louis Salazar. Next up is Alan Trammell, MVP card. Next up, Glenn Wilson. Followed up by a Johnny Paredes. Paredes. Next up is a checklist. Next up is a Andre Dawson, MVP card. Next up, Van Snyder card. And my last card is a Steve Farr card. Nicely done. Nothing really to sleeve and leave, though. No offense, gentlemen. Nope. All right. I am up. I'm going to crack this bad boy open. Nice. Trying to share in the experience with nice, all of nice, our nice. lovely viewers. Um, I did just check, by the way. Now we're up to 183 followers. So we Whoa. just need 17 more. Um, and we're going to be giving away a pack. Uh, we cover shipping, everything. And uh, we already gave away packs, a pack yesterday because we hit 100. So today, if we hit 200, we're going to give away another pack. And if you want it to be one of you guys, just get on the horn. Get on your social and get tell people, yo, go follow this show right now because I would love to be able to announce a winner tonight. We just need 17 more. That's not a lot. First one up, of course, we've got the puzzle piece. Cards, we've got Rob Deere, Doyle Alexander, a Daryl Strawberry. This is amazing. I love this card right here. This is definitely a keeper, not a big money card, but this is definitely a keeper. Neil Heaton, Steve Rosenberg, Devin White, Gerald Young. I would love to hit a Deion Sanders, by the way. That's a good that's a good card. Let's we'll see. Joe McGrain, Kevin Gross, Nick Esaki, Asa Esaski. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Not the singer. Oh. Candy Maldonado. Bob Walk. Joe Boiver. And Rick Sutcliffe. There you go. Nice. Over to the Craig Cam. Add that to the pile. Yes, uh, Steph Egg says we've got Doc and Strawberry. Yes, we pulled a Doc, a Dwight Gooden, and a Dallas Strawberry from this, which is very cool. My first card is Lee Smith, followed by Gary Pettis, followed by Robin Yount. Bring that one over here. That's just, that's just, we'll put that one aside. Sentimental value? Yeah. Sentimental re Is that a song, Sentimental Reasons? I love you for sentimental reasons. Maybe. Kirby, we'll put him Kirby aside, bucket. too. There you go. Definitely. Dennis Martinez. Carlton Fisk. Mark McClure. McLemore. Alan Ashby. Todd Worrell. Funny story about Mark McLemore. Right, this guy right here. Okay. Is I don't even know if I'm legally allowed to say this, but I actually know a personal legal issue that he had. Bring on the lawsuits. Yes, I can't reveal the details, but uh, and it, it didn't involve DM me. DM him for the details. Like I was not involved with it, but I know the attorney that was. Interesting. I'll just Sounds say that fishy. And uh, so it was a very interesting legal ba battle. So, anyway, that's all my. Breaking my all connection sort of laws there. tonight on this show. Next, <laughs> Juan, Juan Samuel, Tom Browning, Mark Davis, Craig Lefferts. Andy Van Slyke. Uh, he was a cool player. Never lived up to his potential, though. Sorry, Andy. 
similar to Andy from The Office, who also did not live up to his potential. Ooh. Ron Gant. Ooh, all right, nothing there. Moving right on to my my pack. Nice. Yeah. Look at the pile of wax packs. packs. Here we go. We got puzzle. Frank Williams, Camelo Martinez, Dave Rigetti, Scott Bales. Crit. Okay. We got another hit. We got ourselves. Another hit right here. I'm going to show you guys what it is. Craig Bishio. Uh, this card right here is going for 25 bucks. It actually just sold for $25. People are trying to sell it for about double that. But another decent card. So now we're up to about $175 in value that we have pulled so far. This is a sleeve nice. and leave. leave. Ray Quinones, Bob Brenly, Tom Gordon was another one that I kept. I don't know why. Like, I think because I, as a kid, I thought he was going to be really good. Um, and I kept it. I'm going to put it aside. Was he really good? I don't remember, actually. Huh. So Cameron no. Drew, Mike Diaz, Dave Bergman, Jeff Pico, Pico, Chris Sabo. I'm going to put that aside. Another strawberry. You know, yesterday, you actually took issue with strawberries. Yes. Do you have an issue with this strawberry? I do not. Strawberries are wonderful. I love strawberries. <laughs> and Tom Prince. Very cool. I'd say this was a good pack opening right there with the Craig Biggio leading the way. This is his rookie card right here. This is Craig's rookie card. So that's a good one. That is a sleeve and a leave. Craig? What do you think my rookie card in real life would look like, Rob? Probably a gigantic foot. Why? <laughs> well, do you know why I think it would look like a gigantic foot? No. Well, that's a great transition to actually, before you open up that pack, um, I would actually like to give you a gift. I'm going to give you a gift. Okay, and I don't like feet, by the way. So well, and that's why this I is a special, uh, this is going to be the gift that keeps on giving, Craig. Okay. This, this is going to be, I, mean, I, I literally have to pull this aside in order to, to give this to you. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why don't you put the cam on, on this card right here, on yours? I want people just to look at this card. Show them that card. That was the last one that we pulled. Rob is about to ruin my evening with a giant foot, I'm assuming. Okay. Okay. So there you go. So now we can go back to um, the real camera. Now. Thank you. Very and much. I'm going to take off my shoes. Oh, God. For this one. Oh. And because I got you something pretty pretty amazing, actually. I mean, you got the ability to pass oh, out. Take a look at this. People, can you can you see this? Can, can you can you cut to my camera, please? Can I don't you, want to get too close. Okay, cut. Can you cut to my camera? Look, 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 look at this. If if you're not noticing what's going on here, that's my that's my foot. I, I'll just I'll just pass this over to you though. Wow. <laughs> I got Craig. I appreciate this. Not the first part so much. I appreciate that though. Thank you. <laughs> I got Craig. I'm gonna open this up for you. Okay. This don't, is don't custom try socks. them on, please. Custom socks. Those are pretty cool. Those are pretty cool here. These are custom socks, and this was actually one of the versions that we were playing with when we were coming up with our logo. And I took it, and I made socks out of it. Wow! Thank so you, not Rob. only are you wearing your own face, but you will also always be able to wear me. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. It means almost as much as the underwear you gave me the other day. But we're oh, not gonna that talk about is that. weird and uncomfortable and absolutely not true. Um, but yes. So socks, feet, isn't that amazing? How Very we, good, thank you. Uh, you know, we didn't even plan that. That's not even. Can that's we unscripted. clean this before we open the next pack? Yes, we can actually, Craig. Thanks. thanks. We can absolutely cr clean it. Thanks. We're gonna head over to my cam now. Oh, that's is that my cam? That's my cam. We got a merch. Need a pair? Oh, need a pair ASAP in the comments. Collector yes. showcase socks. Where can I scoop those? Yes, we are absolutely going oh, to. Oh, you're going to put hand sanitizer on the table. <laughs> little, little hand sanitizer. Little <laughs> hand sanitizer action right here. Oh, this is my. We're all about, <laughs> you know, being compliant. And <laughs> I said the table, not your own. Hand. What is on your feet that you got to wipe your own hands? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to also put up That's some, oh, some nice. sanitizer right here. <laughs> But yes, we're going to be rolling out some merch. It's a great way of talking nice, about that. Nice. And we will let you guys know when the merch is ready. 
But yes, I think we're gonna have some fun, funky stuff. I like funky stuff. I believe that in a strong funky. sock game. Strong, strong sock game. So, I agree. I agree. So there you go. Craig to the Craig cam. Now back to the Craig cam. I'm gonna stay very clear of directly <laughs> touching this part of the table. We have my puzzle piece. Thank you for the gift. I do appreciate that. It is very nice. You're welcome. Randy Kramer, Bruce Benedict, Jeff Reed, Dave Laper, John Costello, Bruce Ruffin, Rafael Ramirez, Sean Hillegas, Jeff Kunkel, Greg Minton, Wallace Johnson, Greg Catteret, Ron Washington, Israel Sanchez, and Raymond Martinez. All right, no big, uh, no big hits there. You can put those in that box. Right. Moving right along, opening up more decks right here. If you're just joining us now, we're opening up decks from the 1989 Donruss because we decided to hop in the what? 1989, the DeLorean. The, the DeLorean. That's right. And uh, so Craig wasn't even born. True. So he has no idea what it's like, but I am taken aback. That's Ramon, Craig. Yes, <laughs> I thought maybe Ramon. Ramon <laughs> Martinez. Yeah. What's the X at the end? I don't know. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Cracking it open. And first one up, the puzzle. I am so excited about the puzzle. You have no idea. Kevin Gross. Gross. Pedro Guerrero. Wes Gardner, Bobby Murphy, Floyd Bannister, Jim Clancy, Ernest Riles, Willie Randolph was also a coach, kind of cool. Um, uh, Mike Harkey, Sandy Alomar Jr. Uh, rookie card. This is our okay. second one. Not the big one that we're going for, though, but I'll put it aside. Rob Deere, Chris Speyer, Tom Hare, Dave Mead, and Hensley Willens. So I would say, wah, 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 wah. like if you were a kid and you went to the local store and you got one pack, right? You bought one pack with your with your hard earned money, um, and this was the pack that you got. You'd be like, ah, you'd be crying to your dad. Please yeah. get me another one because these players stink. But anyway, how much is one pack though? Uh, I don't remember. Um, in 1989, that's a really good question. It's probably, uh, I would venture a guess, maybe a, a quarter. Right. Maybe 50 cents for a pack. Puzzle piece. Ryan Sandberg. Yeah, put that aside. He's a cool guy. Okay, put that on the side. We'll just put it on the side. Cool guys to the side. Kevin McReynolds. Harold Reynolds. Rance Molinix. Juan Berenger. A Diamond Kings. Mike Greenwell card. I'll oh, hand that nice. to you. Oh, nice. All right. Fred McGriff. Gary Gaddy. Mike Scott. Oh, you like that one? Gary Carter. Oh, put that aside. I think everyone has a uh, soft spot for Gary Carter. What's that? Rafael Palmiero. Dale Murphy. Rob Thompson. Barry Bonds. Oh, we've got a Bonds card. I don't know the if I've got a Bond. picture. Barry Bond. That is definitely a hit. I don't have a picture of it. Um, that's definitely a hit, though. Sleeve and leave. Yes, this uh, this is definitely a sleeve and a leave. Yeah, I'll, I'll be. I will look that up. This is a sleeve and leave, though. Here we go. Now, the other day we were trying to find the Barry Bonds rookie. We were opening up the 1986 tops. Right. I happen to own a have a lot of his rookie cards, but we were looking for it. We didn't hit, um, so we're off by a couple years. But anyway, still a, a really cool card. This is definitely a sleeve and leave. Good hit. Nice. All right, I am up. You are up, sir. All right, here we go, people. Right, this one doesn't want to open. I feel like it's try It's locked like Fort Knox. Maybe. Is that a sign? Could be a sign. I saw the sign and it <laughs> opened up my eyes. That's it. Copyright. You can only do a couple seconds. <laughs> Here we go. First one up is a puzzle card. Next one up, Bobby Ojeda, 
Mike Brantley, Tony Fernandez, a Kent Herbick, Carlton Fix, Fisk. We'll put that one aside. We're all the insert type of cards we're going to be sleeping and leaving. Jimmy Key, Kirby Puckett, Ron Darling, George Brett, Andrew Dawson, Rick Mowler, Brett Butler, Doug Drabeck. He's not Benito related to Wilson Santiago. Fisk. He had a pretty long career too. And Kale Daniel Daniels. That's it. Wilson Fisk for the win. Daredevil. Rob doesn't get that. He was born in 1989. My back. Easier, eager to see this puzzle put together, to be honest. I agree. Hey, it's J1015. I have not put a puzzle together in many moons. I actually, funny fact about me. You I seem love, like you're good at puzzles. I love puzzles. I, I got an inkling that you're good at puzzles. My first card, John Crook. My next card is Eric Davis. It was not a crook. <laughs> <laughs> There's your reference. Steve Bedrosian. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the best I can. Do not bully me in the comments. Mike Scott. Michael Scott? Whoa. I might have to keep that one. Whoa, put Ozzie that aside. Smith, put that aside. Melito Perez. Wally Joyner. Ruben Sierra. Steve Searcy. Searcy? Tim Raines. Jose Canseco. Frank White. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> the Canseco is a good one. Oh, the Canseco is a good one. Canseco is a good one. Frank White. Alfredo Griffin. Don Mattingly. Oh, Donnie Baseball. Of course we're going to put that one aside. Of course. Wade Boggs. Put that one aside. Mr. Boggs. All right, you did pretty good. No, no big, huge money cards, but definitely pretty cool. Thank you. Well done, well done, well done. I'll take the commons. And we'll throw them in our common, in our common box. Nice, you're up, Bobby Light. The crackle of the '80s. The crackle of the '80s. You can hear the asbestos. You know, by the way, thank God there's no gum in these anymore. I know. Because that was an awful experience. I, I think I think I'm still feeling it, actually. Luckily, we only have asbestos in these. <laughs> what? And everyone knows there's nothing wrong with breathing oh, in a little asbestos. Did you guys actually see the episode where we ate the gum from the 1986? It was a wonderful packs? time. That was awful, actually. Puzzle. Oh, Mike Schmidt. We'll, we'll put that one aside. Billy Hatcher. Vince Coleman. He was cool. He was a cool player. Bob Bone, Ozzie Gian, Stan, Mike Stanley. Uh, another sort of Stanley office reference. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh my gosh. Rob is moving about the room. Holy cow, I know I'm holding up the touchdown. This is the uh, wrong reference. Guys, we hit the holy grail. Not even kidding. What is it? Not, bro, I'm not even kidding. Hold on. Hold on. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Hold on. I'm Where is the this? Horn ready. Where the I heck the is this horn. card? Where is this card? Oh my gosh, guys. We <gasps> hit. No way. Ooh, the Ken Griffey Jr. card. Oh my gosh. Give me the horn. Give me the horn. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, we hit the Holy Grail. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. This card right now is selling for over four hundred dollars. Oh my gosh! And pe so there are people that have it listed for double that. Right. And I, they're not going to get you know eight hundred dollars for it. But right now it's being sold for four hundred dollars. It's a good market for this card. I actually think it's undervalued. Ken Griffey Jr. is an amazing baseball player. I think he has one of the best left-handed um, swings in all of baseball. Actually, him and Daryl Strawberry, I think, have a very similar. Um, swing. It's just sweet. Everyone loved watching them hit. I can't believe. Holy cow. Bro, we just hit the Ken Griffey Jr. card. 10 points for Gryffindor, <laughs> which is a Harry Potter reference inside of an office reference, which is our fifth office reference. Yeah, this is legit. I agree. Sleeve it. Hurry. This is a sleeve and leave. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Rob, where are you located? <laughs> is that what someone just said? Nope. All right, so I'm going to, before I even look at my other cards, I want to, you guys know me, the big cards, I'm going to inspect 
for grading though. Inspect the deck. Right. So Ten Clan is forever. Yeah. So I'm gonna look at this. You guys can look with me. So the first thing you look for is the corners, the edges. We're looking. I'm seeing corners and edges are really sharp here. Um, with the except, uh, there might be a little bit of a ding. Like, it's so funny. Is that like I'm nitpicking, like really looking at this, almost like under our microscope here. But these things will matter between like a nine and a ten. Right. And I'm. Um, this this might I don't know I'll say this is this is an on, on the fence as far as that ding the centering is really good you turn it around the coloring is good everything is sharp no scratches with the exception of that one little ding it's barely no, like noticeable I'm looking at it really closely here um, this is a really good card beautiful I think it's probably going to be though under a ten it's probably going to be a nine um, but it has a decent chance I mean honestly it. That might not even be a ding. I mean, it, that could be just like flint <laughs> right. or something like that. This is an amazing pull. Holy cow. Bro, we did it. So, guys, if you're yeah. just tuning in right now, we just pulled the Ken Griffey Jr. Holy Grail of the 1989 Donruss, which is really cool. We still have packs to go, so we might get another one. You never know. You never Agreed. know. Agreed. It is Gorgeous, right? Yeah, but right now you can go on eBay and buy a a box, a thirty six counts box. You could buy this box on eBay for like thirty forty bucks. And uh, right now we are. Let's do the math really quickly. So we are at if we sold, you know, graded, sold them. We're at five hundred, roughly five hundred eighty six hundred dollars. Wow, which is amazing. Nice. That's amazing right there. That's incredible. Nice. Welcome back to Craig's Corner. I didn't even finish, by the way, going through all of oh, my... Oh, whoops. <laughs> you got I got so lost. excited. I got... did. I got so excited. I forgot to finish. Finish uh, her up. Bryn Smith, Storm Davis, George Brett, Oral Hershiser. <laughs> sha, sha, sha. Nice. He was, he was cool. Nice. John Calderia, Mike right. Greenwell. He was a good ball player, actually. Alan Trammell and Kurt Mann Waring. Nice. Awesome. So the Craig Cam... Jeff Sellers, Charles Hudson, Tom Brookins, Terry Leach, Jeff Ballard, Fred Manrique, a Diamond Kings David Cone card, Frank Williams, John Ceruti, Charlie Leah, Scott Bankhead, Mike Harkey, Jeff Pico. Tim Twiffel and a Mike Birkbeck card. <laughs> Tuffle. Truffle. Tim, Tim Tim Tuffle. Tim Truffle. I think you might Mike mi Birkbeck. Mi mispronounce that one. <laughs> We're coming to the end of this box, guys. Um, but we've already hit really big. Uh, we we actually already hit the holy grail of this particular set. And we hit this card uh, right here. Which is awesome. We, I just hit this. I just pulled this card. I'm glad it was me that pulled it and not you. Wow. Well, because you had already gotten some big pulls earlier. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, we've already gotten a couple Mark McGuire's, which is awesome. We've already gotten a Biggio, a rookie card. Great. But nothing's going to be better than that one right there. That is literally the holy grail of the set. Moving right along, I think we might be able to get another big, uh, big card here. Ozzy Virgil. <laughs> Terry Steinbeck, Keith uh, Atherton, Marvin Freeman. Morgan Rick Freeman? Cerrone, yeah, Tony Armas, Pete Incaviglia. Nice. Joel Skinner, M uh, Milt Thomas, Steve Lombardozzi. Nice try. Benito Santiago. That's a fun name to say, right? Benito, Benito Mussolini. Here's another Jose Canseco. Another decent card. Not a big money card, but another decent card. I'll put it aside. Willie McGee, I remember him. And Paul Kilgis. You are up. My turn. Cut to the crank cam. What year is that? This is 1989. Yeah, we are opening up the 1989 Donruss. We're taking it back. First card, Greg Harris, Paul Kilgus, MVP Andy Van Slyke. Andy Van. Tim Burke, 
Terry Steinbeck. Floyd Bannister. Tom Candioti. Fernando Valenzuela. Ricky Henderson. Oh, put that aside. Oh, put that aside. That's a cool card. Not a big money card, but a cool card. Dwight Evans. Jack Morris. Andre Dawson. Yeah, MVP nice. Card. Tom Nidenfjarn. <laughs> Diamond Kings Dave Schmidt. Give nice. that to you. And a Keith Etherton card. Yeah, guys, if you're just uh, tuning into our stream right now, we are taking it back all the way to 1980. Oh, I put 1987. I just noticed that, by the way. Whoops. In the graphics. So I'm sorry if we're confusing you guys. Um, it's not 1987. It, it like is the 1989. Graphics says. It is 1989. Donruss. We're opening up the entire box. We only have a couple packs left. We've already hit, we hit early on with some some decent cards, Mark McGuire cards. We got two of them already. A Biggio rookie card. But I just literally hit the Holy Grail right here. I hit the Holy Grail. This is the Ken Griffey Jr. Um, wait, what? He said Alex Madrid is who you're looking for, 2K. Oh, so Alex Alex Madrid. Uh, well, we're going to have to go back because I, I actually wasn't eyeing for that card. But we have got uh, one of our experts that has tuned in. Not your average. Everyone should also go follow him. He's pretty cool. But we did hit the Ken Griffey Jr. Um, I have a feeling, by the way, the Alex. Were you looking up the 1987? Because this is actually – the graphic is wrong. We're doing the 1989 Donruss. Uh, but we did actually get this card right here. We just hit that the the uh, Ken Griffey Jr. I am like stoked about this card, as you guys can see there. It just sold recently for four hundred and five dollars. Uh, okay. Oh, sweet. All right. So also the Alex Madrid. I don't remember seeing an Alex Madrid yet. We'll go through the cards uh, one more time, obviously, just to make sure uh, we did not get it yet. I don't think we did. I don't think we did. But here we go. Opening up another pack. Puzzle card. Boom. We're going to be putting this together. We got a Fred Lynn. Another Mark McGuire hit. Nice. This is the third one. This card is selling. It just sold for $57. Sleeve and so leave. So this is the third one. This is a sleeve and leave. This brings us up to about $850 now of value of cards that we've pulled. Again, if it's, if it's, a, if it's create, graded 10. Um, so that's potential value right there. But still, we're doing really well. That's the third one. Um, Steve Rosenberg, Rick Sutcliffe, uh, we've got Jeff Russell, Oswald Peraza, Matt Williams, Mike Pagliarulo, Will Clark, I'm going to put that one aside because I just like him, Terry Clark, Mike Young, Mike Smithson, Miguel Garcia, Andy Nezelek, and Jay Howell. Nice. We're doing really good. Again, um, we are pulling the 1989 Donruss Baseball Wax Pack, 36 count. I think we got like what, seven or eight packs left? We only have a few. No, not even. Have we have three over here. Oh, I have three here. So six left. Here we go. That's what we are pulling. So very cool. Mike McFarlane. Seth McFarlane is the creator of Family Guy. Fun fact. I don't think they're related at all. Just fun fact. Bob Brower. Ron Jones. Bobby Witt. Mike Fitzgerald. Dave Henderson. Jerry Don Gleaton. Doug Jones. Rick Dempsey. Joel Skinner. Bob Stanley. Jim Whalewander. Whalewander. Don August. Wish it was August. Andres Galarraga. Galarraga. Yes. Joe Hesketh. And it is now up to you, Rob. All right. I'm, I am up. I'm actually curious. If you can take out your phone, Craig, that card that he was saying, um, if you can look it up uh, so we can get a picture here, the Alex Madrid card, while I go ahead and open up another deck. Do you know what? I think we actually... Did we pull this? I don't know. Alex Madrid. I don't know. We're going to have to pull that out. Um, yeah. I mean, so... Or what are you seeing as value? 
uh, on your phone there. All right, first one up is a puzzle card. We're going to look through again to see if we got the Alex Madrid, see if we got that $2,000 hit. Not your average is saying um, that it could be worth 2000 bucks. We'll see. Here we go. Marvel uh, Win Wine, Ron Washington. Uh, German or Jermaine Gonzalez. A Jose Canseco MVP. That's a good one. Rich Yet. Rick Dempsey, Jose Aquendo, Jack Armstrong. By the way, I'm just thinking about it. I, th I have a feeling that the card that he's referencing might be an error card, if anything. I'm guessing, by the way. I'm not. I'm seeing I, error card, a lot of error card, but this is a Gen Mint uh, 10. Because when, I remember as a kid, there were, there was a couple oh. cards that there were error cards, and the players were like no-name players, but because of the error card, it made it rare. This one isn't an error now. Okay. Are but they all regardless of error? Some of them are errors. West Gardner. Uh, I see only one for 2000 Okay. And that was Pedro graded. Pedro Guer Guerrero. George Brett. Bob Walk. Daryl Strawberry. Here we go. MVP. Mark Grace, Diamond King, and Al Nipper. Nice. You are up, my friend. Thank you, dear. Got a puzzle piece. Guillermo Hernandez. Greg Brock. Cal Ripken. A Don Russ Diamond Kings Corey Snyder card. Checklist. Denny Walling. Damon Berryhill. Mike Doon. Pete Smith. Barry Larkin. Shane Rawley. Roberto Alarmar. Alamar. Alamar. Got Roberto it. I got Alamar. it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Jim Dashi. Yeah. Howard Johnson. Um, all right. Howard Johnson is a guy that I actually met. the name met. of a hotel or a food? Johnson. Yeah. Howard Johnson. His kids actually went to the same school that I went to. Whoa. Pretty cool, right? Interesting fact. Interesting fact. Very cool. Love it. Nice card. Cut uh, to the Rob Cam. Cut to the Rob Cam. Yeah, I'm going to take that off. That's, that is a card that we just pulled. Here's some of the other cards that we're looking for. We're going to look for the Sheffield. We're going to look um, for the Kurt Schilling. Uh, yeah, the uh, by the way, uh, I did pull it up. We're going to sleeve and leave. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to yeah, sleeve and, and leave. I pulled that. Yes, this card is not big money, but it's definitely money. Yes. So I'd say we're probably you know closing in on $900 in potential value in this so far which is awesome uh but yeah some of the other cards that we're going to be looking for here um the we haven't hit this one i would love to get that card we haven't hit this one i would actually like that as well um we have got three of these we've hit this one as well uh, and this is another card i'm looking for i would love to be able to get the Deion sanders one so we will see this card though is definitely a sleeve and a leave. leave. So leave and leave. We are almost done, guys. Here we go. My pack. Oh, wrong cam. We got to change the cams. Look at that <laughs> pile of, My fault. of garbage. I'm a little Whoop. obsessed with myself, I guess. Yeah. All right. Here we go. First one up is the puzzle card. We got a Ricky Jordan. A fig pin. Remember, I think this should be a Pokemon name. I think fig Pink pin. No, fig pin. It would make it perfect. Fig pin. Yes. Steve Balboni, Scott Jordan, Mike Maddox, Eric King, Pat Tabler, Chili Davis. Cool card. Barry Lyons, Dale Murphy, Mike Greenwell, uh, Jeff Robinson, Bruce Benedict. And Steve Anten, uh, Anteveros. Oh, I'm up to my final Oops, pack. Sorry. This is the second to last. Wow. Before we put together our puzzle and bid you all adieu. Got my puzzle piece. I have Kurt Manwaring. I have Dave LaPointe. I have Gary 
Templeton. Followed by a Fred McGriff MVP card. Followed by a Terry Pull card. Followed by a Luis Luis Sal Yeah. Followed by a Stu Cliburn. Followed up by a Diamond Kings Mark Grace card. Followed up by a Jeffrey Leonard. Followed up by a Jose Batista. Followed up by a Paul Gibson. Followed up by a Brian Holton. Followed by a Roberto Kelly. Followed up Ron Kittle. Followed up by a Mike Gallego. All right, here we go. Drum roll, please. The last deck. You're terrible at this. Knocked over Baby Yoda. Very cool. Gaigo. Interesting words. Here we go. All right. First one up is the puzzle. Will we have enough of these puzzle cards to complete the puzzle? What I do you think? No What's clue. the over under on that? Um. Um. Uh -oh. Um. You have got to be kidding me. Not the wide. Yo. Is this the card? Not your average. What was the name of that card worth two grand? Please, everyone needs to be watching right now. What was the name of that card that was worth two grand? Not your average. Can you put that name up again? Put it up, put it up. Alex Madrid. All right. Bobby Light, I'm going to cut to your cam. Why don't you show the folks? Ho hold on. Oh. Now, we've already pu pulled three Mark McGuire's. Okay. Recently sold for 50, $57 each. Correct. We already pulled the Randy Johnson rookie card. Okay. We already pulled the Craig Biggio rookie card. We already pulled then a, a, a few others that are worth, you know, south of $25, right? Okay. So already, this is a Andrew win. Jr. Right, already this the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Like, this is already win. We've already got potential value. Closing in on $900, right? This is a huge win. We didn't need this card in order to be able to win. But, guys, Cut to your take camp. a look at what we just pulled. Ooh. Can I get a DJ Horn? So, if not your average is correct, but also... It was graded 10. I saw it. Sold on eBay. Graded 10. $2, Craig $2, just $2. looked this up on eBay. Graded 10, this card. 2000 Two thousand dollars check to see if it's is it the error card is it the regular card i don't know what makes it an error though that's and i also don't know that if the non-error card has any the, value it was the non-error card so the non-error so card I, what is i the saw one. it doesn't say error at least so we need to find out we need to go ahead and find out guys yeah the centering is not good on this one you can see it's definitely leaning more to the to the bottom but it's not going to matter. If this is, in fact, the error card, so what? It might not be 2000 If it grades you know, below that, it's still going to be still going to be decent money for this, right? right? So this, this could be a really good hit. Um, and we just need to find out what makes this an error card. This doesn't even say error card. This sold for two grand. If there is a... All right. Is there a period after the ink on the back? There, uh, all right, so I see 19, or we're going to zoom in here. Oh, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, actually. I don't know if that'll zoom in. Bring it back a little. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. But what I did, there is one part. It does have a period. If this has a period, so I would say this is probably not the error card then. But I don't, I don't know where to find that ink that he's talking about. It's not even, what the heck? It's not... Today, it is not focusing. our day for focusing. Um, but uh, anyway, anyway, you Thank just got to trust my opinion. Uh, so this one uh, right here, I'll point to it. On the back of the card right here is where I see the word ink. It says 1990, no, it says 1988, leaf, comma, ink, all caps, with a period. So we'll see. I would say that this is going to be, this is going to have to be a research card. Yes, we got to research that. Because I'm wondering if also the non-error card has any value. Right. Because this this guy's name has so much attention. So what we're going to do is, guys, um, yeah. I am going to sleeve and leave it. And we're going to research it. Without this card, I'm going to leave this one out. I'm not going to include it in the value. I'd say we've got close to eight, $900 in potential value in these cards. You can get this deck, uh, this 
box on eBay uh, right now for like 30 bucks. It's not, it's not even that much, 30, 40 bucks. Uh, but you open it up, you have fun opening it. The experience alone is worth it. And uh, that's why for me, before we get into the puzzle, we're going to do a breakdown. Bye. Still got more cards. Oh, I still have more cards. Are you, you kidding me? So oh, that was the first flustered. one in the deck. <laughs> Gerald. Oh, this is a really cool card. This is a throwback card. This is a really cool card. That's a sleeve and leave right there. Matt Williams. Greg Olson. I had a ton of these as a kid. Scott May. Alvin Davis. Nelson uh, Liriano. Lance Blankenship. Uh, Barry. Uh, Dion. Not Sanders. James. Bobby Bonilla. One of the cool, greatest contracts ever. He's still getting paid, I think, like $1.2 million every year. What? Hasn't played in 20 years. Keith Hernandez and Dwight Evans. All right. So in conclusion, in conclusion, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to throw this up here, and you're going to watch me, guys. Whoop. I'm going to throw this right up there, actually. Cover that up. All right. So in conclusion, buy, sell, or stay away from it. Craig, you go first. I would say for the value of the box itself and the uh, potential, since we hit so many good cards, that I would say it is a buy. Absolutely. This is a buy. This is not a sell. It's good ratio. Yep. Do not sell the box if you have it. I say open it. Yes. So this one is a buy. This is an open. And because you can find some cards that are worth considerably more than the box, right. like we just did. Uh, we've got a potential value closing in on $900. We're going to go ahead and look into this card here, although I don't think this is the error card. I'm going to go look through these all again. Uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, all of you guys that are watching, um, collectors, uh, if you want to get something as an investment right now and maybe uh, be able to make a quick hit, I say this is a great box because it's affordable. You can go on eBay right now and you can gobble up a couple of these, open them up, and get some really good hits like we had. Uh, you know, you get, you get one of those Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards, right. and it get grades a 10. You were talking about you can sell it for $400, and more. It's, that's more than a 10x of your investment. Where else can you invest and get a 10x immediate like that? Right? It's so hard to do that. So that's why, for me, this is a buy and an open up. Um, absolutely. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to – I'm just going to really quickly go through these. Uh, yeah, so many good pulls. Um, yes, absolutely. Hey, it's J1015. So many good polls. This was an amazing one. But yeah, uh, we're, I'm going to just quickly go through these. Um, and uh, Craig, I mean, what was your opinion? I know you're not a big baseball card guy, but what was your thoughts on this? Uh, I mean, we got some pretty good cards, so I had fun opening them. And I enjoyed to see the enthusiasm and the excitement on your face, Rob. When we pull some of these cards. Don't, don't listen, don't make fun of me. You know what it is? You get excited like this when we open up Pokemon cards. Yes. yes. You know, and I have a feeling that when we hit the rainbow <laughs> chars mm -hmm. from the champions path. Yes. I, I'm going to go. I'm going to be excited, but I think I'll you might cry. Very, I'll be very happy. Like the wall. I think you actually might cry from being so excited. I'm, I'll be very happy. I dropped our puzzle. <laughs> he dropped our puzzle. Um, yeah. So anyway, so we're obviously guys, if you're brand new to the stream right now, or even if you've been with us for a while, um, we're going live every single day, opening up either a new pack, uh, rather a new box or something we have op opened up. We've opened up some amazing boxes so far. This is day five. Um, my cu I'm curious, what would you guys like to see us open up next? Um, I've got a ton of stuff. I've got packs that date back to the sixties. Um, we've got obviously a lot of newer stuff spanning just about every sport we got, and, and then even non-sports, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering. Um, and then I've got a lot of collectible stuff. My very first business was in the antique world, so I've got a lot of lot of cool stuff. What would you guys like to see? And then maybe we can uh, line it up and schedule it out over the next few days. Uh, but we also want to give things away. We're trying to get to that, uh, to that coveted 1,000 followers mark. So every 100 followers, we're giving something away. Um, yesterday, we gave something away. And we're, we're going to be giving something away again, another pack when we hit 200. So help us out. We're trying to grow an amazing community with you guys. We love spending time with you guys. So to, to re award you, reward you. Is it reward? Reward. Reward. We got Champions Path on deck. We do not have base set Pokemon currently. Currently, we don't have that. <laughs> Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, let's see here. Uh, can I just have a bunch of those? I'm just yeah. going through these. looking, And you can look too, by the way. Look for All the right. Alex Madrid. This might be the only one. Uh, we're looking again. We're, we're just Mr. going through the cards. Madrid. These are all the cards that we just opened up, 
and it was brought to our attention that there's an error card in this deck that uh, could be worth $2,000. So we're just going through it one more time to see if we have it. We did pull one. We don't think this is the $2,000 card, though. Uh, we're going to get it looked at, though. Uh, because if, in fact, it is, it's $2,000. And you know what's crazy is we're looking for this identical card. The only difference is on the back, uh, there, it's missing a period. Isn't it weird that, that the market has determined that the lack of a period means it's worth $2,000? Right. Pretty crazy stuff. Um, so what's what are some of the votes that we have for opening up here? Um, I'm seeing a Champion's Path. More Pokemon stuff. I mean, I don't mind opening up Pokemon tomorrow. We hey, could we could do that. I love opening Would Pokemon. you guys like us to open up another Pokemon tomorrow? Do you guys want us to do another sport? I've got some really valuable, even uh, hockey, soccer, which we haven't done yet. We've done basketball, we've done football, and we've done baseball. Obviously, obviously, we've done Pokemon, um, and uh, we've got a lot of stuff. So let me know, guys, what you want, and we'll go ahead and uh, consider it, and maybe even open it up tomorrow. Um, right now, we are looking for the Alex Madrid. Uh, error card. See, once he said Alex Madrid, two thousand dollars, I'm like, I don't even know that guy, Alex Madrid. I was like, it must be an error. And sure enough, error. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing it here. So we're gonna have to just move on and uh, be thankful for the gains. Listen, I. I Nothing to sneeze at. Almost $900 in value. Are you kidding me? Honestly, I was not expecting that. I was hoping for the uh, the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. I didn't think we were going to hit it. I'm so glad we did. We missed out on some of the other cards that I wanted. I wanted the Deion Sanders card. Um, and I wanted this, the Schmoltz card, actually. The Schmoltz? Uh, the Schmoltzies. But uh, mostly I wanted that um, Deion Sanders card. We got a Bo Jackson, which was very cool. All right, I am not seeing it. I'm in my last little handful of cards here. And I am not seeing it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the puzzle and to close out the show, and I don't have it here. Okay, cool. Let's pull out that puzzle, my friend. Puzzle. Puzzle it away. And I'll let you put these away I'll in that, that back in the box. Slave. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> um, yeah, while I'm pulling that out, I'm going to spread out all of my really cool cards here and let that be a backdrop, um, a backdrop for this. Uh, show first some of the cards that we got. Uh, we got the Alex Madrid. I don't think this is the $2,000 card. We'll look it up. We got the Roberto Alomar. Ooh, Alomar. Could be uh, 25 bucks. And we got a bunch of these diamonds. Uh, these are like the inserts. But we got the Holy Grail. We did get that Holy Grail right there. And this is, we got a bunch of these Mark McGuire's. I'll make a pile of these. We got a bunch of these here. We're kind of cool. We did get a Bonds. I don't remember the value of this Bonds here. Uh, this one going for about twenty five bucks. That's a that's a pretty good card. And look, here's another Mark McGuire. That's the third one. We did pull the Randy Johnson. That's a really good pull. Right here, these are some of the really good cards, in my opinion, that we got. Just again, we're just running through the cards, the good cards that we pulled from this. I think the Conseco is a good card. Greg Jeffries, that's just from like pulling my my from my youth. Here we go, here we go. Roger Clemens, the third one. It's crazy that we pulled three of these. Dave West, I just because I like him, and that was it. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead, put this together. Gregory, I'm gonna put our sleeve and leaves aside. How do you guys think we did? Do you guys think we actually uh, pulled some nice cards? Hopefully everyone's going to be in agreement. All right. These are already put together, those pieces. So nice. Uh, yes. So we're going to cheat and not actually. Not detach? Uh, we don't have to detach, actually, because all we have to do, really, 
is watch. Oh. Have you ever put together puzzles? Put these aside for a second. You've never put together a puzzle, have you? I have. This guy. I have. Right? Okay, let's see here. This is going to be the top of this. We've got ourselves. This is going to be the side of this. I know that's going to be a corner. I know that's going to be. That looks like a jersey of some sort, right? And you want to grab half. And we'll just match this bad boy up. Oh, we've got a double. So I can put one out of side. Uh oh. Already we're getting. Oh, here's another double. A double puzzle. It's a double puzzle. And we got hall. Oh, I already got a connector. Boom. Hall of Fame right here. I'm not good at puzzles, Rob. <laughs> I have no clue. Okay. Here is that's a good one here. That's a star. So that is an obviously it's an edge. Double. Double. I'm going to put on some music, if that's all right. I don't remember what music this is. There we go. Yeah, this was a really fun box. We have some people saying, fun box. Sweet. Um, all right, so we're trying to put together the puzzle from uh, the 1989 Donruss we just opened up all 36 packs, got some amazing hits, and now we're up to the puzzle. Here's his hat. I don't think we have all of these. Oh, you got a lot of cards over there still. Here. Oh, we got another double. Is the double file? Is that a double file too? Yes, those are doubles. Okay. That's a double, double. I don't see this. Where's this? Oh no, this one. Wait, that goes right here. Oh, what? Being thrown off. Yeah. This looks like the top of his hat. This is the side of his hat right there. Okay, it's already coming together, people. Already coming together. This is a this is a a double. Oh, that's not a, that one's not actually. That is not a double. They go together though. Are we gonna pop these off? Or do you wanna leave? Them? No, we can pop them. Let's let's put it together. Why not? We can try. We can certainly try. This is a double. Here is a double. Oh, we got we could we completed his face. Look at this, guys. We have completed his face. I think we're going to have to pull the cards this way. Here, I'm going to... Let's let's shift these cards so that we can pull. And, then, and everyone can see what, what it is that we're putting together here. I'm going to pull this over. Pull this whole thing over. Yeah, see? It's coming together. It is definitely coming together. This goes here. That's like so, like so. They don't connect very well, though, I will say. <laughs> All right. Um, that's a double. All right. I, I actually think we have a chance. By George, there's a chance. Gotta put this up. Thank you. Yeah, listen, let's, let's look. I mean, we there's, dressed up. There's actually a jacket under it, Iron Man. I'm not. This is not a jacket. Thank this you. is my sweater. This is my. Uh, what is it? Uh, will you be my neighbor? Sweater. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Sweater. Sweater. Baby, it's cold outside. If Nick ATS can tell me when is the best time to wear a striped sweater, please in the comments. You'll oh, understand that reference. Okay, so. I'm going to say that this goes here. All the time was the correct answer. 
titles. Thank you for the correction. This goes here. Uh, people, I actually think we've got it. I think we've got it. By George, we've got it. By George, we I think we've got it. So I'm going to start popping these as well. Before you know it, um, we are going to have a complete puzzle. I'm actually really excited. I told you as a kid, um, I never got enough packs to be, actually complete the puzzle. And like probably many kids around the world, and you, uh, they have incomplete puzzles. And what would happen to an incomplete puzzle? It would get thrown out because your parents would throw them out. They would think it was broken, and it would break your heart. Parents, am I right? So now I'm gonna. This is therapy for me. I'm gonna able be able to actually complete this. So this is a 29 year scar, mental scar that, I am, that I'm actually gonna be dealing with. So I appreciate this very much. So um, that I'm I'm gonna be able to actually open this up um, and. Uh, Hopefully you guys are happy for me because this is a big deal because this is something I get, I get to, you know, put behind me as a, as you know, as a, what was it in Lion King? Hakuna Matata? Hakuna Matata. That's right. Means no worries. You got to put the past behind you. Pumbaa. Timon. They were very wise. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. That's what the wrong, a wonderful that's phrase. That's the wrong piece. That's the wrong piece. I'm not good at puzzles. Hakuna Matata. Guys, this is so cool. This is totally coming. Look, look, I got it. I got it. I got you. I got you. I got you. Look at that. Look at this. We now. have two more pieces left, and this it works out. Friendship. That I actually have the last one in my hand. Rob, listen, you do the honors of this. I know this is a big, big thing for you. This is really big because I get to close out uh, something that I have struggled tape with these together for a very, very long time. <gasps> Here we go, people! Ooh. Applaud me! Applause! 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 Um, here we go. We did it. Wow. Guys, we did it. In the words of Dora the Explorer and her friend Boots, we did it. We did it, people. And we did it, obviously, with everyone's help. I appreciate all of you. Let's hold on. We got to get this. Here we go. Look at that, guys. Wow. We did it. Really nice. So job. we opened up enough packs to finally um, settle a 29 year old psychological scar. Um, and I got closure. Thank you. I got closure. But more importantly, we also got money. We are in the money with this one. Uh, closing We're in. in potential money. value over $900. And so, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I know my back is to you, and I, I apologize. I'm just trying to pull thank the you, amazing thank you, cards because I want to hold them. We got a great stream comments. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep on looking at these cards, guys. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Tune in tomorrow and help us get to that next milestone of 200 followers. And when we get to 200 followers, I'm going to give something away. I'm going to give away another pack. Nice. Um, we've already given away a lot of stuff in our first now five days of streaming, and we're going to give away a lot more. And the packs that we're going to open up are going to get better and better, more expensive. And the, and the prizes that we exactly. are going to be giving away... Uh, are going to be better and better and worth considerably more amount of money as well. I'm going to just start really enjoy this card right here. My Ken Griffey Jr. Can't believe Wonderful. I pulled it. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm so glad I pulled it. Okay. No need to brag, Rob. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we'll see you tomorrow right here. What's the name of the show, Craig? The Collector's Showcase. And what should everyone do? Subscribe. That's right, people. Uh, so get all your friends. Get all your family. Get them all to do all that really, really fun stuff which is coming to the show. Take care, guys.